Hi guys, uh, this, dis this help video is on our painter rollout in the Disperse plugin. Um, this is basically where you're going to do a lot of your sort of um, on-off heavy lifting. Um, so briefly, when you first look at this, every object that you're going to have that you've added into Disperse is going to be listed down in here. Uh, if you do add another object, let's say I add another car, you're going to see that this menu will actually get bigger. Uh, it's just sort of a convenience thing so you can sort of see everything that's in there. If you do need to make this smaller, there's these little arrows that you can actually make this smaller. Um, so basically in here we have, we have a couple of different types of things. We have single painting, which is a directional painter. And um, whatever I have selected in any of these paint or erase is what you're going to select to paint. So if I was going to paint these people, um, I have collisions on. As soon as I'm done with my paint stroke and let go, they're going to go into the main mesh. Now, they also do paint on that direction. We do have some hotkeys. So if I press control one, two, three, four, it's going to switch painters. If I was to uh, press control alt, it's going to make my painter smaller, my brush smaller. Control shift will make it larger. So uh, just a couple little hotkeys to make it easy. Uh, depending on what interface you have selected here it is going to give you different menus. So on our single or directional painter, you're going to have brush size, collision distance. So I could turn this down to make a, a shorter queue of people. Um, also, auto snap, so if I was to set this to, say, 90 degrees to do something, it's just going to snap to those 90 degrees, um, less, of course. Now, in this mode, if you hold down control, it's going to lock that direction. So, uh, you don't have to worry about if you're painting all cars all over the place, it's kind of convenient to say, all right, well, I want to paint all my cars going this way. Uh, I want to turn it, hold down the control. I want to paint them all going this way. So it just gives you a little more um, uh, speed and easy to use. Um, then also we have our multi-paint. So multi-paint. Um, and also in here, if you have single things selected, um, so say I want to paint trees. I can go in here and say probability of this tree at 10%. Um, probability of um, percentage of painting, this one at 10%. And I can change that around, so now I'm getting a, a percentage wise. And you have paint on self. So um, paint on self is if you want to stack up some boxes or something like that. Uh, by default, that's off. Uh, we have our multi-painter, and our multi-painter also has the same thing, brush size, but you actually have your hotkeys as well. Um, so you have brush size, collision distance. So now also one thing to keep in mind is, is this collision works on everything that you have in the scene. So if I was to say, let's paint some people again, and I'm going to go paint these around, you'll notice that it will not paint people on top of people. So it, it knows its collision. So if I was going to say, just turn this brush down and I want to paint people all over the place, I don't have to worry about people being on top of people in the scene. Um, our, our erase brush. Um, the erase brush has a chance of erase. So you can actually turn this this down, you can say, oh, I just want to erase maybe 10%. Um, and you'll go through and the probability is there to, to erase. Um, sort of the same way it works in, in um, say, Photoshop. So if I take this to 50% and then I start clicking around, I'm going to be able to erase more, but not everything. So it, it gives you a way to sort of cull some of the crowds, uh, make a little less, where if you were to have this at 100%, wherever you are, it's going to erase everything. So it's just sort of give you a little more flexibility. Now, this erase on self, um, you only want to use that if you've done paint on self. The reason for that is this brush sort of snaps to whatever it is using. Uh, if you had stacked boxes, it would be very difficult for you to um, 
say, erase the top box because it's not snapping to its own mesh. So that's what that erase on self is for. So unless you've stacked up boxes and used paint it on yourself or paint on self mesh, it's not going to be applicable. Now, the last thing to have in here is our object replace. Now, our object replace works. Um, you can replace single nodes with objects that you have in this list here. Um, it'll also do um, find similar as well. So if we were to look at, say, this here, this symbol is just a copy. Uh, all they are is just sim simple single mesh nodes in your scene, and they're all copies. Um, none of them are um, instances or references as well. So if you have on, um, let's just select a bush here, and I'm going to say I want to do an object replace. I'm going to leave on similar, and it's going to go around and find anything that it sh could be an instance and puts it on that as well. Uh, the other thing is you can do replace. So now if I pick this other mesh, it's going to put another symbol on that, but it's now erased that. It's deleted the symbol that I put it on. So uh, you'll see here if I erase this really quick, let's just get the erase brush. You can see it's removed the blue symbol. So um, you want to keep that in mind. You might want to, you might be using architectural symbols and you don't want to delete them. Um, also, uh, it has a random placement. So if I wanted to go in here and say, all right, I want to randomly place these, these trees. Uh, I can actually go in here and say, all right, I'm going to pick this symbol, but I want you to randomly put these different trees in that spot. So that's what that'll do. Uh, so that pretty much sums up our whole painting thing. And I, I don't know if I put in here as well. Um, one thing to remember, if you have this bottom spot here, unselects everything. So if you have nothing selected and you go erase, it's going to erase every, th every type of object. If you have selected stuff selected, it's only going to erase the ones that you have selected. Um, also the same thing with painting. So if you have nothing selected in the multi-paint, it's going to paint every different type of geometry. All right, thanks a lot, guys. I hope uh, this was easy enough to understand. Uh, any other questions, please check out our support forum or frequently asked questions. Thanks a lot, guys. See ya.